Hello you. Yeah, screw it. I'm playing Bubble Bubble. And I know I've played it before, I've played it, I don't know how many times. I can't remember how many times I've played it on this channel, and it doesn't matter. It's Bubble Bubble. So let's just hit one, and it knows it's this disc and it's just going to start playing. Yes, it's another one on the Taito Coin-Up Hits collection. And yeah, like I say, it's Bubble Bubble. I, I've, I've played it before, so I shouldn't really need to play it again. But it's Bubble Bubble. You always need to play Bubble Bubble, don't you? Yes, of course you do. And uh, so I thought, yeah, screw, screw it, I, I'm playing Bubble Bubble. There's still other games on this collection that I haven't played yet, but I'm going to play Bubble Bubble, because I like Bubble Bubble, because it's Bubble Bubble. Bubble 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 Bubble. Yeah. And it's always infuriating when I watch other people play Bubble Bubble, so I'm just going to play Bubble Bubble myself and enjoy it myself. He says, not quite sure where he's put the joystick down there. Where's, where's, where did I put that joystick? I've put the joystick down here. So, ah, there it is. There we go. Right. Yes, I always find it frustrating watching Bubble Bubble because I'm always going... I, I, I'm no expert at it, but I'm aware of certain bits here and there. And when someone, like, skips, like, not picking up the power-up on the first level, or just ignores power-ups, or completes the level too quickly so they don't get the level skip option that turns up after a few seconds, things like that, just like, this is infuriating, so I'm just going to play it myself. And enjoy the music. We'll just sit and enjoy this for a second, and I will shut up for a second. Well, there we go. Yes, let's get into this then. I thought, yes, let's 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 appreciate that tune because it's the only chance we get to say it. So there we go. The only thing infuriate I find infuriating about this game is the continue system. That if you are not pressing fire immediately when you die, it just oh there you go, game over. It's like, mm, I do find that so infuriating, but I will try just to play it and just just enjoy it. I don't think I've ever managed to play it and use all ten credits, because it just at some point it just you nah, you weren't pressing fast enough. So that's that. Um, I know there's the logic of if you have if you on your last life quickly, waste a credit to bring Bob into play while you're playing Bob, and so then you've got a bit longer to. But you know, that still means you're not using all your ten credits, isn't it? And I'm sure people have done cracks for it, but I've just never got round to. I've never got around to cheating at Bubble Bubble for some strange reason. I, I Maybe I ought to, or maybe that would spoil it. I don't know. But here we go. Press 1 to play. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. And up we go, and up we go, and we... Okay, so we don't have a power-up on this level. We have that strange jelly-like thing there. There might sometimes be a shoe, wasn't there? Damn it, and I've cocked it up already. So I would be infuriated by that, but at least I was aware of the, the possible power-up issue. See, that power-up gave me the bonus of turning everything into whack Donald fries. If I'd had more balloons on screen, I would have had more of a bonus there. But, and this one's going to do the same. So let's get as many of these up. You know what? So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop him now. Give me a smaller bonus, but if I just get enough 
loons on screen, I will have a whacking great bonus anyway. Oh, okay. That didn't give me that. It was the other thing that gave me that. Uh, see, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I thought I was going to get another one of those bonuses, but no. And look, there it is again. pushing up when you jump on a balloon you can keep bouncing on it you don't have to burst it come here you come on damn you right there we go I'll get a bit, a bit more a bit more points by bursting my balloons the bubbles, even? Balloons. What kind of idiot calls them balloons? Could really have done with some power-ups by now. Damn, I missed that one. Oh, now you're all going to start pouring, pouring down, aren't you? Doing particularly well at the moment. Right, should be an invulnerability one turn at some point on this one. We've got that again. We've got some green cherries. Come on, are we going to get anything? I think we'd normally get some water balloons coming up, balloons, bubbles. Coming in this. But me too. Hmm. Definitely seem to be playing with less special things turning up than I remember. Hmm. Right. Warp level. There should be a, an umbrella turn up at the top left. Which warps you about three or four seconds. No, we've got a we've got another one of those. Which I find very strange. There would normally be and we'd normally have some water water bubbles coming down that could sluice us all the way down through the level. This is playing very, very oddly. Much, it's quite different to how I remember. Um, it should be something like a cross or a power-up for our weapons at the top left or top right. No, we've got a cake and we've got another one of these jelly dessert things. But we'll get it anyway. Oh, damn it. Well, that's us stuffed for completing the game properly. Because, <laughs> of course, as you know, you're supposed to do it however many levels without dying, so you get the secret room and blah, 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 blah. And, no, I've never done that. What do you take me for? Right, we've got that. We've got a creme caramel over here. Creme caramel with a grey top, but there we go, that's... Graphical limitations for you, isn't it? Ooh. Well, we have an extra life. I don't know whether that means it doesn't count that you lost a life because you've still got the still requisite number of lives, but I suspect it doesn't. Hmm. Uh, more, more of these buggering ghosties. And again, where I would expect there to be a power of some kind is another one of those jelly dessert things. I knew I was pushing my luck, but I thought, sod it, it's no guts, no glory. Damn it, I didn't even see how he... 
I was looking at the other one. Right, now I'm in trouble. Gotcha. Yes, sods. That cost me too much. This is such a good conversion. And again, we've got a jelly fruit when I would have expected a cross at the top right in order to flood the level. I, I'm not sure what's going on in here. Is this an earlier different version of the game? I'm just going to have to drop through here, aren't I? Oh no, hang on, we've got a chance now. Oh, they fall at a different rate to me. That means gravity is wrong. I suppose we are in the world of bubble spitting dinosaurs here, so maybe does gravity gravity does work a bit different. Can I get back down for that cake? Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, things are playing differently to how I'd expect. I suppose that's the joy of Bubble Bubble. The games are, are a bit different at times. Right, that's a, a nice bonus. That should give me lots of lollies. Should I complete the level, all the balloons should turn into lollies, I believe. And I'm amazed that he didn't kill me. didn't get any lollies. This really isn't working how I expect. Have I misremembered a whole load of stuff? Or is it is it genuinely plain difficult? Dif difficult differently? Hmm. Right, that's them dealt with. Damn, let's cock that up. Across here. Well, hmm. I'm happy with how I dealt with the first three. That's how it should be done. Right. Okay. We should have some. Yeah, we should have some water balloons. Balloons. I'm saying balloons again. Water bombs to take us through here, and there should be. A, yeah, that's that's another one of those jelly sweets there. Look, you should fire balloons in balloons, bubbles into the hole. It does a bit, and you should get some water bubbles coming instead that help sluice you through and take out the ones in the middle. This is going to be very, very difficult now. Yeah, I'm not gonna. There's no way I can get in there safely to to deal with those. Yeah, and Baron Von Blubber. I always thought it was strange how Baron Von Blubber, not Bubbler. But, there we go. So I'm going to have to try and get in here and not die. Well, I got a couple of them. And I wasn't pressing fire immediately and I didn't notice and now I'm dead. <sighs> right, well I'm going to press one again. Let's see if maybe on the first load, the first time... It doesn't give you those patterns. Maybe it plays differently on each go through. If I get another one of those jelly sweet thingies again. Yeah, look, another jelly dessert thing. And I got a load of fries again. Hmm. This is rather strange. Couldn't tell you what the necklace does, but it's probably a bonus for the end of that. Thing. Hmm. 
No, we didn't get any extra special bubbles turning into bonuses there. Hmm. We'll get the ice cream there. Missed that one, but there we go. I am finding this rather strange how wherever I would be expecting there to be a special power-up, be it running shoes or uh, the invulnerability um, uh, flaming skull or a cross or a, uh, a chalice power-up for my bubbles. Um, there's one of these fruity dessert things instead. That is very strange. Do tell me if I just if if the version of Bubble Bubble you ever played never had any power ups and always just had those instead, like that there. There should be the extra speedy flaming skull on this one that you zip around and you just run into them and you get diamonds for killing them, or having water water bubbles to wash you down through the level. And just that's. Hmm. Umbrella, top left. And now we get another fruity thing. And top right, we get a lollipop. Very, very strange. Very strange. I mean, it still plays love all, all, but with those bits different, hmm, it's not as accurate as it should be, it feels. I want that. I'm not sure what the blue watermelon does, but I think we get lots more watermelon goodness. Damn, and I died. I don't think I got that close to that. No, we don't get watermelon goodness from that one. Definitely missing a load of special power-ups. This is just like a, like a, a cheap knockoff version where they didn't quite understand how the game just went, oh yeah, and there's lots of pretty power-ups that are worth extra points. It's not that they're worth extra points. I mean, they are worth extra points, but power-ups do different things in different ways. Very, very strange, this. How many more times can I say that? <laughs> I'm, st I'm still liking it because it's bubble ball, but it just feels... It just doesn't feel right, you know? It feels like, it's, uh, like the arcade owners fiddle with the dip switch settings and not set it right. What? Oh, right, there was one. No, okay, I didn't die. I thought I'd died then. I thought I'd... Hmm. Yes, the little chippy owners fiddle with the dip switch settings because the kids have been playing the entire game through for an entire evening on 20 pence. So he's changed it so it's so he's disabled all the power-ups or something to make it uh, more difficult. So they uh, put more money in. And hopefully they'll tell their mates that, oh, it's different, you should play it. It's, it's really hard now. They made it much more difficult. But then everyone went, it's rubbish now, and people stopped playing it so much. They're like, mm. oh well, at least they're not hogging the machine for 20 pence a night. So. And then he changed the game for something else, and everyone was like, oh, they got rid of Bubble Bubble down the chippy. What they got now? Super Ranger. Mm. Yeah, it's not Bubble Bubble though, is it? Mm. Um. When are you going to come down? There we go. Nice. I mean, at least we've got different fruit depending on what. To... Why didn't I go for that one on the right? Oh well. Different fruit depending on how many enemies you've got 
to double. Yeah, you know, it doubled at once. past that Valentine's Heart level. Hmm. Oh, I'm not going to do this as well as I did last time now, am I? No. Almost. But almost doesn't quite cut it, does it? How can I kill them and yet he's in a bubble? He's in a bubble, yet he killed me. I mean, what? Particularly bad timing. Oh, damn. I do like the way that when you drop through the floor and come out of the city, it does take like a second or so, implying that there is some travelling between there is a distance. It's not instantaneously that you, you, you've got to go off screen before you come on screen. So there are moments when Bub or Bob are basically living in a complete void. <laughs> Could have used that to jump in, but hey ho. getting past this level. Uh. Now, I've got my finger on fire, auto fire. See, even when you... Invulnerable. I've got finger on auto fire. Finger on auto fire. And I've got my hand on... Ooh. I had my thumb on the button. I had auto fire on. It should have let me continue there. Hmm. Right. Well, we shall leave it there on that one, because I've got to think of my blood pressure. But that's... that's really strange. I've never had... Uh, I mean, that's two games of Bubble Bubble with the same power-ups in a row as well. The same jelly fruit sweet thingies turning up in the same places. Normally it randomises and you don't always get... I mean, you generally get shoes on the first level, but not always. But you always get the... Umbrellas turning up in the same places. So them not turning up at all. And the crosses and... That's really strange how it doesn't have the power-ups where they should be. Hmm. Do let me know if you've come across that before. This might be perfectly normal to you. And you might just go, yeah, that's how Bubble Bubble plays. I'm sure if you look... I've not looked myself yet, but if you look through my channel for other Bubble Bubble playthroughs, there's going to be more than one, I'm sure. There's going to be times where you'll see the same power, the power-ups that I'm talking about turning up in the places that I'm talking about. And they didn't in this. Which is... I've said it before, I'll say it again. Strange. Hmm. Yes, do please let me know if, if you know what I'm on about here. <laughs> do, do please let me know if you know what I'm on about, or am I talking absolute bibble, as usual. Um, yeah, that's... That is odd. That is very, very odd. And I will be wondering about that for a while now. Hmm. I just... <sighs> so, someone else out there must 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 know what I'm going on about here. Must must experience the same thing and looking at that going, yeah, that's not right, Rob. So do please tell me if you know that. I know I'm terrible when it comes to the comments section here. Hit me up on Twitter. Let me know on there. Because, um, you know, interaction on YouTube to bump up my stats and help get promote my channel. <laughs> Who wants that? <laughs> That's enough to enough to be dealing with just putting the videos up, let alone commenting on on stuff as well. Yeah, let me hit me up on Twitter. Oh if you don't have Twitter, put a comment below here or whatever. But uh, yeah. Uh, 
just please let let me know whether I'm going mad here or I'm going to have to watch some of my old videos now to to see how the power ups work because that mm, feels wrong. Still feels good. Still plays like bubble bubble, but with those bits missing, it's not quite there. It's like a it's like bubble bubble before they added those final bit of extra polish by getting those bits right. Hmm. Oh well. We shall move on. I'll try not to think about it too much, he says, knowing full well he'll be lying awake at night going, but it's not right. Why is it like that? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Bubble Bubble on the 64. If you haven't played it, uh, just play it. Play the arcade version in main. Play the C64 version. Apparently the Spectrum version is quite nice. Looks terrible from what I can see compared to this. But then Specky owners looked at this and went, oh, look at them, they look all blocky and terrible and they're all fat. And just like, shut up, just play it. It's got music for a start. You haven't got that on the Specky version, have you? Have you? I don't know. I've not played it. Maybe I ought to give it a go sometime. But, uh, uh, yeah, whatever whatever version you can get hold of a Bubble Bubble, get hold of a version of Bubble Bubble and play Bubble Bubble. Even better if you can play it two-player with someone else who knows what they're doing and they can show you where stuff is and that sort of thing. And it's great. It really is. It is one of the all-time classics, and this just feels slightly off because of those power-ups. But if you don't know about those, you, you will you will just have a rollicking good time regardless. So whatever version of Bubble Bubble you can get your hands on, get your hands on it and play it. Yeah, because Bubble Bubble's good, isn't it? There we go then. So that's Bubble Bubble on the Commodore 64. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.